I, I just love taro. I think yeah. it's a great crop and I've, I've had great success with it myself. Tell me about what you're doing here. I just love to see what you're doing. Well, we're growing this taro in our aquaponic system in our terraponic containers. Uh, in Africa, taro is called coco yams. Mm -hmm. and so we, we do a lot of teaching and training in Africa and, and there the tubers from the taro are consumed like we consume potatoes here in the United States. So it's a great plant, it's very easy to grow, it's beautiful to look at, and a great source of sustainable food. I see some of it here just appears to be growing in the water. Will that form a tuba just by growing in the water like that? It actually does, and it sends out runners and builds massive root systems underneath. The other reason that we put this here, this is the raceway where our water comes up from our rearing tank. So it's the most nutrient rich source. Okay. And so the concept was that we would put these large plants that develop large rhizomes and root structures under the water to work somewhat as a biofiltration as well. Okay. Phil, I'm very jealous. Yes. You, you actually got a the banana tree that's giving you fruit in aquaponics. Yes. What's your secret? I've tried that for a long time and it doesn't work for me. Well, I don't know that we have a secret, but uh, they do seem to thrive here. We have several pups that come up from the rhizomes every year and obviously uh, producing bananas. We're all anxious. Usually we get one or two bunches from these few trees every year, so it's, uh, it's a delicacy when we all slice them and reckon, eat our bananas. I reckon you're right. Great stuff. So this is the more than one variety of taro that you would need to, uh, to grow, or, or is just any taro will do? Well, there's, there's sometimes a confusion between elephant ear and taro root. Uh -huh. um, one of the simple ways that we've found to identify the difference, the elephant ear, the split, comes all the way down to the stem. Okay. And the taro root, the split stops about two inches from the stem. Okay. So the tubers on the taro root are very good to eat. The tubers on an elephant ear, not so good to eat. What, very they're, they're poisonous or? Well, some say they are, but they're very fibrous, almost mm -hmm. like a fiberglass. So when you cook them and eat them, you feel like you've just stuffed fiberglass in your mouth. That's not good. No, not good okay. anywhere. So the secret's in the leaf, the leaf shape. Correct, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that, I've been trying to find that out. There you go. Yeah.